Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, testing and just gear setups that we will be running in Somerset. Keep in mind, this is still the PTS and on my website I have all the PV builds ready. As long as the beta tag is on the Somerset build, things still might change because you never know when Robble does any last minute sneaky ninja nerfs. So just keep that in mind. Maybe wait another one or two weeks till you really gold out everything. Otherwise, just join my Discord. People are Furycrafting like mad there. We have all classes, Furycraft channels and so on. So, Magicka setups have quite a lot of diversity in terms of gear, I would say. So, here we are on a Magicka Nightblade. So this setup... Magicka Knight Blades and Magicka Templars are using this. The go-to set for almost all setups is Ciroria. This is a very strong set. Drops in Cloud Rest. The imperfect version is basically the same except it doesn't have the 5 piece Magicka bonus. This set is really good because you can get the permanent 600 spell damage, just keep in mind. The circle you get the buff from is static and when you move around a lot you might lose the buff. In addition to that we are running Mother Sorrow. Acuity is not good anymore. Mother Sorrow actually outperforms it. However, you have to be careful. When you run Mother Sorrow you should try to stay on the front bar as much as possible because we are only front barring this set. That's with a lot of setups this patch. You want to have as little abilities on the back part that you use every rotation as possible to get a higher crit uptime. That's this. Like I said, Mag Knight play Mag Templar. Magicka Dragon Knights have a different setup against Eroria. You really want this set. And then we're using Elf Bane. So this set is a heavy armor set, but with Somerset we can transmute jewelry. So you can actually put arcane, infuse or whatever you want there. Now we are... It's still unsure, like you can actually use jewelry and the weapon or you can put this on the body. On my website I actually recommend using this on the body because it makes the rotation a lot easier. But in the end it's really up to you how you play with this. The saying. But Elfbane is a really really good set for a DK because you get so much, like all your abilities are flame damage, so you can buff so many abilities by 2 seconds, therefore you can use your Lava Whip or Molten Whip more. About the traits maybe really quick, at the moment on Magicka I'm still running 3 Arcane. Most likely later in the update we are going with 2 Arcane, 1 Bloodthirsty, but for now 3 Arcane, because I do think everybody wants to do cloud rest and you will be wiping till you can cry anymore and therefore bloodthirsty will be a lot more useless because if you don't reach execute bloodthirsty is not good <laughs> obviously that's it about the magic dk so elf pain really cool for pet sorks this patch necro with Ciroria. We are putting Necro on the body and we are front barring Ciroria on this setup. You, like, I do have different gear options on my website. Like, if you don't have Ciroria, you could run Trulianos, Mother Sorrow, Destruction Mastery, and so on. This is just one possible option. Keep that in mind. With this setup, we have a lot of Magicka. You can run the build one pet, double pet, it doesn't really matter. And if you really want more Magicka, you could even, like, Mage Mundo Stone, Destruction, Mastery. You could stack so much more. Like, I think I got up to 62k or even higher if you really want to. But yeah, for Pet Sorks, that's the, probably the setup to go to. For a non-Pet Sork, what I have found to work best is Ciroria with Asylum stuff. And Acuity. Why Acuity? So on a setup that still uses Force Pools, Acuity is still worth it. Because each hit of Force Pools can proc Acuity, therefore you still get a high uptime. Now keep in mind, 
other people also like they use Ciroria, Mother Sorrow with Elambris without Asylum stuff and they also got really high numbers. So it's still like if you want to run a monster set go for it. I don't think it's best if you join Discord. I think there will be more and maybe even better combos than this. But I do think the Asylum stuff is quite important on this setup because the Sorg should apply high concussion uptime etc on the bosses and so on. That's why I went with this setup. Magic Awardens, you also want to run Necro and then we use the Master Architect. Because I kind of think you need the bear, without the bear you lose a lot of damage. However, if you want you can also run Ciroria. Very important. Keep in mind, there is, like I said, like on a Magic and Nightblade, you also can run Master Architect. It's just one option. Now for Stamina. For Stamina, it's a little bit different. Basically, well, almost like always, you basically just use the same gear set on every class. It's just how they work. Relican is the new go-to set. So this is very strong. I, a lot of stem setups get carried by... If Zenimax nerfs this set, stamina is going to be useless. Because it literally does 6k DPS, this proc. And it gives all the other bonus. So it's really strong. And in combination with that, we are using Berserking Warrior set. So this is a little confusing. The set pieces are called Advancing Yokida, but the set is called Berserking Warrior. Now, where is that set from? Because a lot of people don't know this. This is from Helra Citadel. It's a heavy armor set. When you deal melee damage, your crit strike rating is increased by 400, so you can get the 2k... Crit rating uptime that's like 9% or something like that. And the good thing about this is we can front bar it. And we change the rotations a little bit on most setups. So we only apply three different dots on the back bar. And sometimes this and this. It's on this setup. So we have a more front bar focused rotation. And we can basically keep this up 100% of the time. That's why this is so strong. Obviously, it will be a pain to get because you need an ox and a dagger or two daggers. So good freaking luck. I do have also different gear setups for stump setups on the website. In terms of monster sets, there's a few options that you have because we mostly use light attack rotations now. Like on a stem blade, sustain is no problem, but when you look at other classes, you might want to run Storm Fist. But you also can run Celine and the Valley Dref. At the moment, Celine is proccing off Relican, but that might actually change. I'm not sure if it's a bug or not. So yeah, Relican also drops in the Cloud Rest. If you don't have the set, you can run Vicious, Hundings, or whatever. There's a lot of good options. This will be the go-to setup. A lot of people also ask, why do you not use Ravager or Two Fanged? Most of those sets gave about the same DPS, however, crit in a raid environment is more important because you can amplify it with Axie Warhorn and Ravager is only good at the moment because it procs off Relican as well. If it's a bug and they fix it, it will be useless. So I would highly recommend using Advancing Yokida or Berserking Warrior over anything else. Plus it has a really cool glow on the weapons. I'm gonna lie. Now another little bit different thing for stem set. Perhaps if you use Lover now because Night Mother's case and Sound of Flame got nerfed. Or let's say it got changed. And it doesn't apply the penetration anymore. As in the PTS patch. That might change again. So to make up for that loss we need to run Lover. And we will have less stamina this patch. Because we have Infused and Bloodthirsty. So you can, like, Infused is a little bit better than Robust, but it might make Sustain more difficult. And the difference is very small. And most likely we want to run one Bloodthirsty. However, you can just run free Infused if you want to at the moment. 
So I hope this gave you a very small oversight just about what we test and so on. I uploaded a lot of the streams to YouTube if you want to watch them and just some 3 million target dummy parses whatsoever. In the end we have to wait for the update and during the update it will it will take one two update updates till most setups are figured out again. It's it always takes that long if there's so many big changes. Keep that in mind. But those are the setups we are going towards to for Somerset. Once again, join my Discord. People are fury crafting like mad there. It's a really nice place. If you do have any questions or just comments, ask me in the comment section below. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.